Despite its competitors, Cisco's WebEx is still going strong as a corporate video conferencing software. If your company or school needs you to use it, you might be looking for how to host a meeting for when the time comes. Fortunately enough, hosting isn't too complicated as long as you make yourself familiar with it. Here's what you need to know. To start, head over to your WebEx site and log in. Once your homepage loads, you can start a meeting from here or schedule your meeting by clicking on schedule. If you need a more detailed guide on how to schedule a meeting in WebEx, click on our guide linked in the description below. Once you've set a meeting and clicked on start, you'll be brought to a preview screen to prepare yourself before starting. Here, you can set and test your audio and video settings, as well as change your background. You can also opt to start your meeting muted and with your video off by clicking on mute and stop video respectively. You can choose to unmute and restart your video feed at any time during your meeting by clicking on the same buttons. You can also change your background by clicking on change background at the top right and selecting or uploading a background. Once your preparations are complete, click on join meeting to start. Once the meeting interface loads up and people join in, you can proceed with your meeting. A few additional buttons will appear at the bottom of the screen. You can see a list of participants by clicking on participants and manage them from the tab that pops up. To send them a private message, mouse over their username and click on the chat icon. You can opt to record the meeting at any point by clicking on record. A red icon will appear in the top right on everyone's screen to let them know that the meeting is being recorded. At the end of the meeting, you can find it in the recording section under my recorded meetings. For more features like polling, click on the triple dotted icon to find an extended list. Clicking on share will open a tab and allow you to share your screen or display any of your running programs by selecting them. Once you're in sharing mode, the controls will shift to the top of the screen and you'll see a few additional options. You can pause sharing, mark your shared screen with the annotation feature, and have participants present and share their screens with the assign button. To stop sharing and return to video conferencing, just click on the orange button on the left. Once the meeting is over, just click on the red button on the right and click on end meeting. If you like this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering WebEx and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.